Okay, in this episode, I would like to show you why merchant caravans escorting them is pretty much like the bread and butter in the game, like it's basic and you should do it. All right, first of all, So normally merchant caravans start at about three settlements and it seems to go up as your level goes up. It will take you to different cities where you escort the caravan. The caravan has this blue exclamation point. The cities it goes to will have that as it goes and it will uh, highlight them. If you want to travel around the map, then escorting a caravan will pay you. Notice when you go between cities on the map, it's going to take you time and you might have to pay um, for your troops each day. Well, if you get the merchant caravan, they will pay you, in this case, he's paying $12.50. Um, they will pay you between the cities. I think it depends on how strong you are. So at least you're getting paid for your time. And in this case, I use the caravan. I started off. Um, on this side of the map, my war, uh, the war ended between Sturgia and the um, Kuzate. So I wanted to go back, but I'm paying like several thousand a day for my troops. Well, because I took a merchant escort and you saw they're paying about a thousand a day for me, it's got me back to this side of the map. The reason I wanted to do that is because my thieves are over on this side. So merchant caravans cover some of your costs while moving around the map and they take you to different cities. So for example, we're at Rote here. If I wanted, I could fight in a tournament and I'm, I would have been paid to travel here. I could look in the tavern to see if there's anybody who I could hire here. Just as, just as some examples, and I am paid while going there. Okay, so they'll stay in the city for a little while and then when they leave, a message will pop on the screen like we are, it said we are traveling to Sionan. So if you look, you see there's a dot up here. If you click, left click that, you can click on the city. Now you'll want to stay close to the caravan and keep an eye that it doesn't take a different route because looters can attack it as well and you see it only has 12 people defending. So you need to stay relatively close. You want to get ahead of it if you can because the there is always a group that attacks it between each city. So far, every time I've escorted, there's been a group between 40 and 70 that attack. Normally it's 40, but if you have more people, if you have like 80 people, um, it may send you more than 40. But for some reason, I'm up at 200, it's just sending me 40 now. So apparently it drops it back down once you're above a certain power rating. Try to stay close and not get too far ahead of the caravan. I believe the speed of the caravan 
is to pace you roughly how fast you're going. Keep your eye up ahead as the there's the attackers. Notice they have the blue exclamation and there's 40 of them. So I will often save the game before fighting them just in case it doesn't go well. I recommend you have at least 20 mounted units. In the wood, by the way, cavalry are often broken up. So it's a defensive advantage for infantry. So you see we got a choke point between it looks like there's water here anyway. And you know most likely they'll come from in front of you. Uh, we got a hill here as well. It is tempting to put them up on the hill. All right, but I'm going to keep it simple. Well, relatively Fighters, simple. Move! I'll show you how I Roof, set mine up. Move! I put some pole arm and infantry with throwing weapons in with the archers to help them fight because the cavalry seemed to get caught up in the archers. Infantry! Move! All right, so you can drag the mouse to spread them, to spread them out. And um, F2, F2 will give a shield, a wall. shield wall. Now I want to spread that shield wall out a little bit more. Forward! And then I'm going to put the uh, my archery unit. You have to have a separate archer unit, but I'm used to number two for my archers. So I put... I put them at the number two. Soldiers! I put the archers behind the shield wall. I don't know if that's best. If you Forward! if you think it's not, let me know. And then I like to F2, F3 to spread Loose out formation. the archers. Forward! Forward! Move! I like to have the Runners! cavalry up on the side. Move! Forward! Move! You can tell me if I'm wrong anywhere here. Mounted archers! Move! Actually, I put the mounted archers behind the archers, typically. Move! Cavalry! I split my cavalry up into two groups once I have enough. Move! One of them I give to me. And uh, I always have the horse archers on four. So ready? Let's see if we could see where these guys are. All right, since they're shooting, there they are. So three Cavalry! F1, F3, Cavalry! and five Cavalry! F1, Cavalry! F3 sends the cavalry. Four F1, F3 sends the horse archers. And zero F1, F3 sends everybody else. So you noticed the morale and um, the influence that I got out of that. That's part of the benefit of doing these merchant caravans is the increase in morale and the increase in influence. You also get prisoners and you get loot. 
In addition, I'm getting paid at least a thousand a day. Even when I have close to 40 verse 40, I try and not let my Calvary get caught alone because several of them around your Calvary, uh, you could have people die. They overwhelm you. So I try to actually keep my Calvary in a, a fairly tight group when I send my Calvary against them. Okay, now I want you to see how much we make here. You can look for other merchant caravan um, escorts as you're visiting the cities and look at what quests are available. Okay. Notice I got, I'm getting 746 from the prisoners. Okay, now let's see how much we get from what we got off of them. Usually there's actually more, so I'm surprised that we're getting less here. Notice 2,258 and the 746 is about 3,000, which exceeds how much I'm paying per day. And I'm still getting on top of that the 1,000 per day. Now watch because the this is about to finish. This is my last one. If you look at the quest, I've done five of six. Look at the bottom, I received 8,000. So that 8,000 is on top of each escort between two cities the amount that I make and I also get the renown and I get the influence so thank you for watching that that's why you should do these caravan escorts and they're worth your time and instead of chasing looters you're guaranteed the 40 Calvary units, which is also good practice for your people to get experience. Thank you for watching.